after that incredible uh, reveal, reveal of the Exalted One and Brody Lee, we continue the train of building the new stars and then, and of revealing the um, new talent that they've signed. Jake the Snake cuts another fabulous promo and just explaining just who is Lance Archer. He lets the world know that Lance Archer is no joke. He's no one to be messed with. And during his time off, we get to see what Lance Archer's been doing. Uh, running some carnival circuses, some circus wrestling. Uh, he competes in a ring against countless men where he dismantles each and every single person. Where Jake the Snake lets um, Lance Archer do his thing. And that is destroy anyone that gets in his path. And while he's been preparing for Cody Rhodes, you see him take on multiple men at once and laying waste to close to 15 men and leaving their bodies lying in the ring in a wake of destruction. Lance Archer is not afraid of anyone. And this was a great way to promote Lance Archer, to, to pump Lance Archer up. You had Jake the Snake sitting in the background smoking, sitting in his chair, watching Lance Archer do the deed, take care of business, and dominate anyone and everyone. And may, sending a message, like I said to Cody, you want to build your new stars. You want to build uh, future storylines. You want to show how dominant a guy can be. This was it. They had a pre-taped recorded segment in, in some woods. Who knows where these woods were? It could have been the Hardy compound. A ring set up. Cars in the background. Several men. Circus style. Lawrence Ar Archer destroying several people going round by round picking up the victory until eventually everyone tried to team up on him and he just destroyed all of them and then eventually he just destroyed um one of his opponents on a car just make, laying waste to anyone anyone big tall small it doesn't matter what size you are how much you weigh lance archer dominated and put them to waste there was no one as equal that that was the point of it there was no one that was lance archer's equal See how I hyped that up? And and you could have not even seen anything. There was no one that was Lance Archer's equal. Doesn't he sound like a badass? Knowing that Lance Archer's body slamming, back dropping, choke slamming, big booted, throwing them out of the ring, lifting a guy up with his bare hands and throwing him into other people, slamming them into uh, the hood of a car, uh, knocking them down with rights and lefts, having a ring filled with 15 bodies uh, laid waste by his hands. That's a fucking badass. An effing badass right there. Lance Archer. And he's coming for Cody Rhodes. And I can't wait. You've already established storylines for the future. You've got the Dark Order taking on um, SCU. Right? You've got Lance Archer future in the future taking on uh, Cody Rhodes. You've also got the Dark Order as number one contenders the fighting for the tag team titles. Um... You've got uh, Hiroshida taking on Nyla Rose in the future, on, and also Britt Baker taking on a Big Swole in the future, and then also eventually taking on Nyla Rose in the future. How I see how I'm saying in the future, we're building slowly, slowly. You're building storylines. It's not last minute changes to storylines. This is all building. So when the payoff happens, it's worth it. You've invested your time towards that look at that next a next dynamite whether it be next week or whenever it may be a lumber a lumberjack match between ward wardlow and luchasaurus you've got a street fight between uh the best friends and the lucha brothers you've got a, a cage match uh, what, what am i talking about you've got the uh, the blood and guts match between the elite and the inner circle what three massive matches announced for next AEW? Whether it be next week or the week after? Who knows when it's taking place? But that's what's. these are all announced uh, for the future. And hopefully it's next week. Hopefully they can continue to deliver this kind of programming. So now we head to our main event where the Inner Circle took on the Elite. It was Jake Hager, Santana and Ortiz taking on um, Matt Jackson, Taking on Matt Jackson, Cody Rhodes, and Hangman Adam Page. The question on everyone's mind and the question going into this match was, could they work together as a unit? Would there be differences? Would their differences be able to be put aside? 
Uh, would they be able to stand tall and defeat the inner circle? Because for the last two and a half weeks, they have been beaten down at the hands of the inner circle. They've been laid waste of. Um, the inner circle eliminated Nick Jackson, This, which is why Nick Jackson will no longer be competing in the Blood and Guts match. He suffered serious injuries and he is not going to be able to make it to the Blood and Guts event. The inner circle even dismantled John Moxley, leaving him to waste. That's why he's not cleared. The inner circle have been laying waste to everyone in their path. Who's going to be able to stop them? And would they be able to? And would they be taking the advantage leading into blood and guts? So we got ourselves a six man. So we head into ourselves. We head ourselves into a six man tag match as your main event. The inner circle takes on Jake Hager. As I said, Jake Hager. As I said, Jake Hager, um, Jake Hager, Santana, and Ortiz took on Cody Rhodes, Matt Jackson, and Hangman Adam Page. And at this point, everyone that who had already competed in the night or everyone who already had a segment in the night, they're out there. They're at ringside. They're enjoying themselves. They're having a good time. They're cheering. They're singing. They're adding a vibe that was missing from the previous WWE events in empty arenas. Right. They are adding a dynamic. You wouldn't even know that the arena was empty from the from the from the noise that these guys were bringing, that the the passion that they were delivering, the sound and everything you were getting to hear. Right, this was an experience unlike anything you've ever seen before, and they hit it out of the park. It added a, a unique dynamic to their show. So the main event goes on. Uh, everyone works their butts off. The inner circle does a great job at isolating Cody Rhodes for the majority of this match. They beat Cody down. Uh, Cody makes the tag to Hangman. In comes Hangman, cleaning up house. Uh, Matt Jackson tags himself in. And it's at this moment where Matt does his triple Northern Lights suplex. He knocks, he throws himself out of the ring. He sets Hangman up to do a Meltzer driver, or Indy driver in this case. Hangman Adam Page gets knocked off the apron. Matt Jackson gets attacked from behind and rolled up for the one, two, three. The inner circle takes the advantage, heading into blood and guts. As they're celebrating their victory, Chris Jericho takes the mic and he announces to the world that as of this day forward, there will no longer be any stupid um, stupid fans in the arena. From now on, every single dynamite will take place in front of an empty arena because he'd rather it be that way than have um, I'm butchering exactly what he says, but basically a bunch of dumbasses in the audience. He runs down the accomplishments of what the Inner Circle have done and how they've caused a riffle uh, between the elite and how each and every single of the past few weeks they have stood tall over the elite and how they will continue to stand tall and how they were like a family and how united they are and how no one can break them apart. Jake Hager gets on the ground and does some push-ups. Sammy Guevara jumps on his back, which was actually a funny moment where Jake kind of struggled to do one push-up with Sammy. Jericho had to pump him up and come, at least do one. And he did the pump. He pumped him up with, um, he lifted him up with one push-up. That was a funny moment. But uh, Jericho cuts this promo and then we hear the buzzing. We've heard it for weeks. The announcement was official. You knew Matt Hardy was coming. But the question was, when would Matt Hardy appear? The buzzing sounds. In comes the drone. The drone lands in the ring. What's going on? Cody Rhodes. They have the mic. The elite says, we're not alone. Someone is here with us. And lo and behold, at a social distance, in the fans, the fans, in the stadium, in the stands, is Matt Hardy. Broken Hardy, standing above all, standing above all, looking Jericho in the eyes, Jericho fear in his eyes, knowing that this is not Matt Hardy, this is someone different, this is someone broken, this is someone looking for revenge and looking to prove themselves, especially on the big stage in AEW, and he makes it clear that he will delete the inner circle, and he is officially joining the elite to take on the inner circle at Blood and Guts. We had two major reveals tonight two major debuts Brody Lee as the exalted one and Matt Hardy in AEW broken Matt Hardy what a show you had four incredible wrestling matches you had five great uh 
two great promos, one hell of a video package to put over Lance Archer. Uh, the Exalted one debuts. Matt Hardy makes his makes his debut on AEW. This was two hours of some of the best pro wrestling to date. If we were handing out Emmys or awards, AEW deserves one for delivering one hell of an effing show here tonight. With everything going on in the world. They made you forget. And they entertained the hell out of you for two hours. So thank you. Thank you, All Elite Wrestling. Thank you, Matt Jackson. Thank you, Nick Jackson. Thank you, Chris Jericho. Thank you, Cody Rhodes. Thank you, Kenny Omega. Hangman Page. Christopher Daniels. Matt Hardy. Lance Archer. Jake the Snake. Um, Brody Lee. Jim Ross. Taz. Sammy Guevara. Guevara. Every single person involved. Thank all of you for giving the fans some of the best two hours. The best two entertaining hours possible. Thank you. I have no negative things to say about this show. It was amazing. It was fun. And with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me for AW Mania. Maybe I'll be here next week. Maybe I won't. It all depends on what's going on in the world of pro wrestling. I'll continue to keep you updated. I continue to make these videos for the fans, for everybody, for wrestling fans. In a time of need, we need to have some fun. So let's continue to have some fun. And let's continue some watch, some pro wrestling. And AEW, I hope to see you next week. I hope there could be a show next week. Because I'm pumped for the blood and guts. I'm pumped for everything you've got in the future. I'm pumped for all the future storylines you've got lined up. As always, stay healthy, stay vigilant, take care of yourselves. I'm JP, signing out for AW Mania.